Hey folks, this is Waylon of Elephant Journal, and our new uh, Elephant Academy is coming up. So I'm sharing a bunch of social media and business and write livelihood and uh, writing tips. Um, so yesterday in the current Elephant Academy, we're doing the summer session still, the fall session starts soon. I was talking about editing, and editing is something very unsexy, but just to remind folks of the importance of it, someone asked, uh, Ernest Hemingway, not a bad writer, you know, how he wrote that last page of For Whom the Bell Tolls, very famous conclusion to a very famous book. And he said, I edited it again and again and again and again and again and again until there was nothing left to cut away. And that's, you know, obviously one sort of obsessive approach, and that's not necessary to great writing or great social media or great editing. But it is interesting that he didn't say, I got inspired, I went to the top of a mountain, I had my heart broken. I, he didn't say any of that. He said, I edited until there was nothing left to edit, nothing left to cut away. So editing in this uh, kind of modern, especially around liberal or progressive communities, editing is sort of something that's almost been forgotten or it's, it's unhip. You know, Kerouac, who's one of my favorites, taped together the teletype role and just typed. Uh, that's half legend and half true. He did it, but he also was edited and he had great editors. Pema Chodron, I love her um, Buddhist writing. She's edited. She is an amazing editor. Um, same with Trunk Rimshe, another famous uh, Buddhist teacher who I really love his books. Um, good editing is incredibly powerful and editing isn't always, and this is the key that I talk about in my title, Editing isn't always after the fact. Editing can happen while you're writing, and that's what I call self-editing or live editing. And this is a very powerful thing. Um, it's very, you can actually shape it in the way that if you're singing in the shower, you can shape your melody or your voice, right? So if you can live edit, that takes a certain relaxation. So instead of just writing spontaneously but messily and then coming back when you're in a different mood and judging what you wrote and saying, oh, this is horrible, I thought it was so good at the time, you can edit while you're in that same mood but make it incredibly precise, like a samurai sword cutting through butter. So we talk about these and many other writing lessons, actually how to do them in Elephant Academy. And Elephant Academy is not really a business. Is mission driven and is about showing people how to, as we have done, get five million fans on Facebook or 500,000 on five accounts on Instagram. We have 60 pages on Facebook with those five million fans. How to really uh, make your current career or a future new career uh, successful and a path of right livelihood. How your work can be your love and your you can do well and do good both and be of benefit to this world because God knows we need it. If you agree with that, maybe give me a little like or a love. If we can make our business good for the planet, good for our society, um, then we can create real peace, right? And if we can't, if our work continues to be a source of exploiting um, or making money at the expense of our ethics, then we're all effed. We're all, we have no hope. We really have no hope. So this is almost the most important thing in the world, is how do we make our work right livelihood. And right livelihood is in Buddhism. I have a video on that. You can check it out in the comments if we put it there, uh, or a search right livelihood on elephant. But right livelihood is like a Venn diagram. You know those overlapping circles, and in the middle is right livelihood. So right livelihood is doing well, meaning making money, doing what you love, doing what you're good at, because what we love and what we're good at could be two different things. I might love ballet, but maybe I'm no good at it. Um, and obviously you can practice and become good at something, so um, that can be a path of its own. And do something that's of genuine service, that's of help to the world, uh, so not exploiting the world, um, or exploiting others so that you can get rich, like the uh, bankers with their bonuses, right? So that's about it, editing. It's incredibly powerful, it's incredibly beautiful. If any of you have Netflix, I suggest for starters to get into the romance of good editing, to watch Genius by Maxwell Perkins. Maxwell Perkins was the editor of F. Scott Fitzgerald, of Hemingway, of Dos Passos, of um, uh, Thomas Wolfe, who's the star of that movie, uh, played by Jude Law. All right, 
Big love to all of you, and please join me uh, for Elephant Academy. Uh, it's just getting bigger and better every semester, and it's super fun. You'll hang out with like a hundred or more uh, inspired folks. It's great for community if you've been feeling lonely or isolated or depressed even by all the news you can actually engage and the funny thing that happens when you engage in all this awful news is you feel better because you're not hiding you're not avoiding and you're being of service I can tell you and you can see Monsi just left a sweet comment she's a TA a teaching assistant in the Academy and she did the Academy as well um, uh, it's incredibly fun it's honestly the funnest thing we do um, and uh, yeah, I hope you join me. The uh, Fall Academy, you can still get a, a modest early bird discount. And we have scholarships for those who uh, need them. Please don't take a scholarship if you don't need it because they're very limited. And we have hundreds of people do this. So please join me, Waylon Lewis. And we have various um, sort of stars or VIPs who join us. Uh, Yoga Girl, Rachel Brathen, who's a good friend of mine, will likely be joining us. Uh, Hannah Gypsion, who's a major Instagram rock star joined us last time and will join us again. Ada Calhoun, viral author of Modern Love series on New York Times, uh, is an amazing journalist. She's like my fantasy uh, writer and career. She's gonna join us. Sorry, it's loud. I'm here on downtown Pearl Street in Boulder, Colorado. Uh, and myself and other um, veterans, and we're all in the field, and this is, we teach what we know, and what we know is always changing, because social media is always evolving. So if you're a massage therapist or a yoga teacher, whatever your career is, you can use social media. It's the biggest free resource to uh, get the word out on what you do in a personal, meaningful way that's ever been available in history. You used to have to, of course, advertise to get anything out. And advertising can still be effective, but social media is grassroots. You can do it yourself right now. And even if you don't view yourself as a writer, you can learn how to communicate effectively. And again, if you wanna find a new uh, career this is we'll give you the tools to to do so so big love to all of you please join us elephantjournal.com slash academy the link is in the uh, comments and uh, when I hang up if you click uh, the button you'll be able to get notifications on future videos which are usually not about the Academy they're about fun random things like mindfulness in everyday life but often they are about how to change your life for the better and be of benefit while you do so